Complete Darkness. We turned our... Hey friends, what's up? It's me, Hallie, and welcome back to my channel. So today, guys, I'm bringing you part two of my paranormal stories. And this time, it's going to be more recent stories from, like, high school time to today. So this time, I'm going to just jump right into the stories, and we are going to start with high school time. In high school, I was in drama club, and for the first couple of years, we did our performances at this um, kind of old um, elementary school. They had a really nice auditorium. But, like I said, the school was very old. So, one night before performance, everybody's getting ready, we're doing our makeup and our hair, and usually we all just go to the bathroom, well, the girls, you know, I'll go to the bathroom, and everyone happened to be in the upstairs bathroom, and I was like, mm, I'm not feeling that right now, so I just wanted to get my makeup and hair done, so I went to the bathroom, which was sort of in the basement area. So I go into the bathroom, and, you know, I check under the stalls to see if anyone's there, if anyone wants to hang out or chat while we do our makeup or whatever, but no one was there. I'm, you know, setting up my stuff, I'm doing my makeup, and midway through doing my makeup, I hear one of the stall doors slam shut. As if someone just pulled it all the way open, and it was like on a hinge, it was one of those really old like wooden hinged ones, and just let it slam. I immediately, of course, I stop, and... I look around, I peek around the corner, and I check under the stalls again, and once again, there's nobody there. I think I just immediately packed up my shit and got out of there. I don't know, there wasn't an explanation for it, unless someone was playing a prank on me, but nobody ever mentioned anything about it. I knew what I heard. It was so freaking loud, and it was absolutely terrifying. So the next stories that I'm going to talk about are all from the same place, and I thought that I would include this because... It's pretty interesting, and it was really fun for me, but, um, my mom's boyfriend, who's kind of, you know, technically like my stepdad, um, him and I really love ghosts, obviously, so, um, there's this place called Moundsville Penitentiary in West Virginia, and they do ghost hunts and ghost tours. They do some that are hours long, and then they do some that are overnight. And we've actually done both of them. So first off, they give you a quick tour of the building. Um, they kind of explain where hot spots are. They give rules, um, you know, because the building's so old, they don't want you getting hurt or anything. Um, they explain where you can go, where you can't go, um, things like that. They explain to us that we can't go up the stairs on certain levels because the stairs are so rusted and so old that they're just unstable and you can't go up there. Um, and then they also explain that there's absolutely no electricity in the building. So with that being said, my first just creepy experience, it's not even really a story, but it's just creepy. Dave and I were walking through the cells and I notice on the second floor of the cells, there's a light on. Okay, and first clue, they told us there's no electricity. Okay, so... What? And it's like the only light in the entire place. And, 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 it's on the second floor of the cells. So, no one could walk up there to turn on the light. And, how is the light even on if there's no electricity? So, we go to check it out. And what the frick do you know? It's cell 13. I mean, could this just be any more of a coincidence? I do want to say that it was very hard because some of the people there you could tell weren't taking it as seriously as they should have, so they were they were yelling and they were stomping around, they were loud, they were just really inconsiderate of everyone else there who were taking it seriously. So we really had to pay attention to if the sounds we were hearing were from those people or if they were actually something paranormal. So the next story that I have from Moundsville is probably the most creepiest one. I will try to insert the evidence that I got from this because I really want you guys to hear it and understand it. So, throughout the tour, David and I met up with this mom and her son. It was one of those situations where we just kind of kept going to the same places at the same time and they were taking it very seriously just like we were. So we're in this room and we put our recorder in the middle of the room. And 
it's pretty much an empty room and there's like halls over this way and then cells like on this side. So I'm going to explain what we hear back on the EVP so that it makes more sense. Um, so you can hear us talking um, to spirits trying to get their attention, asking their name, things like that. And then you hear this girl loudly scream, like high pitched scream in the background. And you can hear us in the EVP going like, are you freaking kidding? You can hear us reacting to her. So we're not getting much evidence at this time. So we thought we weren't hearing anything. But on the recorder, you hear, <laughs> oh, this gives me goosebumps, ma'am. You hear what sounds like a man just yell really loud and you can hear it echo. We don't remember hearing this while we were there. And in the EVP, you don't hear us reacting like we did when the girl screamed. Right after the guy screamed, it was kind of silent and you could hear the kid say like, all right, let's just get our recorders. Like we hadn't heard it, like it hadn't phased us. The only recording I have is my phone recording the EVP so that I can put it in here. So it might sound a little low quality, but I still want you guys to hear it because it's absolutely terrifying. for my Moundsville stories. Um, and then the one last story that I want to give for this part um, is very, very recent. Um, so we moved into a new house. We got a much, much better feeling about this house. Um, we saged the entire house before we moved in. Um, so that kind of gave a good start to things. But a lot of unexplainable things would still occur. Um, and oddly enough, every single sound would seem to come from the kitchen. There was an older woman living in our house before, and we think maybe she's passed on and still just goes about her daily routine through the kitchen. Um, we don't feel scared at all, not at all. So my biggest story from that situation is one morning I'm sleeping and my stepdad is a truck driver, so he has very, very odd hours. I never really know when he's going to come home, when he's leaving, stuff like that. So I'm sleeping, and I hear what sounds like him doing the dishes, like unloading the dishwasher, reloading the dishwasher, putting the dishes away, you know. So I'm like, are you kidding? Like, it's like 8 in the morning. I don't want to be woken up to you doing the dishes. I'm like, well, I have to pee. Might as well get up and go pee and then just go back to bed. So I get up, go pee, still hear him doing the dishes, um, come back and just fall asleep. So then I wake up and I see that none of his stuff is here. I don't see his bag. I don't, he's not home. I'm like, well, maybe he was running errands or something. So I go to check the dishwasher and the dishwasher's dirty. And I'm like, okay, interesting. So I text my mom and I'm like, hey, was, you know, is David home? Like, did he just run out and do errands? And she's like, no, no, he's not going to be home till like later tonight. And I'm like, okay. So that's when I realized that there is no explanation for that at all. Absolutely none. There's no way that our cats could make that sound of doing the dishes. So yeah, that was a pretty creepy story. Uh, again, I didn't feel scared or creeped out, um, especially if it is just someone going about their daily business. So yeah, guys, those are all the stories that I have for you today. I know it's not as long or as creepy or as many as the first part, but I still wanted to share them regardless because who doesn't like to hear these stories? I mean, seriously. So yeah, guys, that's it. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.